Hello friends, and welcome back to Friday Night Files. The grind is real <laughs> in this game. At least in the beginning, before we can, you know, buy better equipment and stuff. We have, are we uh, six episodes in? We have not even reached level one yet. And we need a level three just to get to another location. So we'll keep grinding on abandoned house. And if you have any suggestions or tips and tricks on how to be better in this game, please, please comment them down below. But for now, we'll grind it through. It seemed easier, you know, in the first few episodes. But after that, it's just... I think it's just gone harder and harder, you know. Let's see our secondary objective. Put the dead rats in the boiler. I am still yet to see a boiler. Also the salt bags, I haven't seen them before either. And we don't have a candle, so we can't do that. And all these five missing fingers we never found either. So this guy is called Nell Schmidt. The spirit of this place. Turn on the flashlight. Get our EMF detector ready. Let's find some ghost. Hopefully get some evidence. And identify the ghost. We will not be turning on any lights. Because I think it seems like they are much more active. When we don't have any lights on. I don't know if it's just me, or if that's a thing. Tell me in the comments if you know. And let's be on the lookout for salt bags. We need that sweet XP and money. Hello? Hello? Yeah, and last episode we found out that sometimes I guess if the ghost maybe don't see us, we can hide in these closets. If it's anything like phasmophobia, it also depends on uh, what kind of spirit it is. It's dead quiet in here. Uh, no EMF detection. Oh Jesus! Holy mother of air fryers! You scare a bitch. She scares me every time, <laughs> in one way or another. Someone just turned on the lights in here. Hello. I don't even know where the switch is for this light. Hello? Okay, we have level 4 detection right here. Let's leave this and the easel as well. Uh, hello? Place it? Oh, we have placed it. Turn on the flashlight, please. So I guess the, the ghost can be in the hallways as well. Let's get out, get some more equipment. Maybe we should have been looking at buying more sanity pills. I'm not sure what the sanity does. I can't really remember. The lower the sanity goes, will that increase, um, you know, when the ghosts start hunting us? I'm not sure. You tell me if you know. And don't turn off the flashlight. 
we will place, place the ECG as well. But that's also a faster thing, just like the easel. Run, god damn it. You leave the lights on. Oh. It has been painting, right? Yeah. Alright, we have some evidence here. We have painting and level 5 EMF. Easel drawing. Hello. Oh. What is your name? Oh. We found some rats. Those the one we are supposed to put in the boiler. Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Holy crap. We got the speaking in the spirit box as well. I guess we have the identity of this ghost. Right? We do. It's a yokai. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> For now. And go home. You know, right now we're just grinding some money. And some XP. So let's leave. We will do all those secondary stuff. You know. When we have something more to fight with. You know. Crucifixes. And stuff like that. Look at us. Making $900 and 30 XP. Eh? Awesome stat. We are leveled up. As well. What I... Don't understand why would we why would we buy EMF? That's a standard equipment that we always have and the ES, ESG. Maybe that is just for when if we are a team, I guess. So what does Sager Salt that provides group protection against ghost attacks? The more ghost attacks, the lower the chance of protection will be. Okay. What does the pocket wash do? The sledgehammer. Breaking rocks. What? Why would it do stuff like that? So everything is pretty expensive. You know? We only have $3,600. So we won't use any money for all this stuff yet. Because let's just, for now, concentrate on just identifying ghosts, yeah? Get our level up and go to other, we want to go to other places as well, right? Other maps. So that was pretty easy, that one. Let's do it again. And again, and again. We'll take all the standard first stuff in here. Oh, second day objectives. Just, you know, if we uh, just coincidentally see something. Form ritual on the pentagram. I'm yet to find the pentagram. Find this sitting human silhouette. That's pretty easy. And we can take a photo. So we'll try to do this one. Find the sitting human silhouette. Just have to walk around the house with that ecto plasma glass. So let's set up equipment first and foremost. Or first and foremost, find the ghost. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Is there anybody here? 
So now we know for real that ghosts can, you know, reside in the corridors as well. I never found this room though. Right? Is this the room where we have that dress standing here, but it's just not showing on here? I don't know. Maybe. Or is there, is there a room that I just haven't found yet in this game? I'm not sure. You tell me if you know in the comments down below. Let's have a little walk around. See if we get any EFMF detection. Did we ever have a spirit in the library or in this bedroom? Oh, hello! <laughs> you spooky mother of something. So yeah, this is the room we see on uh, on the TV screen. It's just this dress is not on it. And also the... On the TV screen we also saw some uh, crucifixes hanging from the roof. But here we only see some bones. Alrighty then. You in here bitch? forgot to look at the names. I don't know if it's a female or male. Okay. Nothing going on here yet. Hello. Here would be a good place to find, you know, fingers. <laughs> But I have never seen those fingers, and they are in every, every time we go in, there should be five fingers, you know, lying around. But I never found them. Hello? Is that atmospheric music again? It doesn't mean anything for the ghost or hunting, I believe. Don't think so. Well, where do we... F oh. Sound is coming from here somewhere. We do have some EMF. Are you up here? I think it might have been this thing moving around that we heard. Maybe. Any fingers over here? No? There's no EMF detection here. Or was it down here? Maybe. There's the Ouija board. Whoa. What's the Ouija board good for? I have no clue. Do we use that for that uh, pentagram uh, uh, ritual? But I'm still yet to find the. I see a pentagram. Did the ghost move or we go down to check the basement, maybe? Hello? And this is definitely not a pentagram, is it? A pentagram is, you know, a, a reverse star, you know? But this almost must be it. Should we try and take the the Ouija board down here?
just can't hold it right now because we have hello because we are holding three items where is this ghost Didn't scare me that much that time. <laughs> that happens very often. You know what? Let's just throw the EMF here. We'll take the Ouija board. And try to bring it down to... To that... Not pentagram looking thingy. Hello? do anything I know this is the this is where we put those fingers in you know can we do a ritual here no doesn't look like it there's no pentagram in here either I don't know if you know where there's a pentagram tell me in the comments down below I have no clue. I don't know where to use this Ouija board either. Where the F is this ghost? You get... do get some EMF here sometimes but I think it's too little to to credit to being a, a ghost I need at least three or four uh, pips let's call it pips Did we ever bring this one to the basement? The EMF? We did, right? I believe we did. But yeah, there's no detection down here. Sounded from upstairs, I think. <clears throat> Where is it? Did you just pass through me or something? No? Okay. Maybe it passed through me the other way, gone upstairs as well. Definitely hearing sounds upstairs. Where is it coming from? Uh -huh. It's in here. Definitely in here. And we have freezing breath as well. Holy crap. And only level 4, yeah? Freezing temperatures. Got it. So let's throw down the easel as well. Let's get some more equipment. Ghost is definitely up there. I got our first evidence. Hopefully when we get back, it has been painting on our canvas. Let's bring the ESG. You know what? 
instead of bringing this one, let's bring this because that's one of our side objectives to see the silhouette through the ectoplasma glass, which is this one. So whenever we walk around in here, I did bring the SG good. We will look through this and hopefully see the silhouette. Can I get up here? No. I haven't seen that staircase before. Because we just always walk straight through here. Let's be on the lookout for that silhouette. Can be anywhere. It's round, randomly generated where we see it. Oh, we got painting. We have any ecto plasma thingy here? No. That's been painting us a beautiful picture. Let's put this one down, here. Where is it then? Let's go back and get the... And get the... The voice recorder, the spirit box. God damn it. And keep looking through this to hopefully hopefully see the silhouette okay no can it be in here I don't think so okay let's get the spirit box that doesn't do anything give us evidence and we will bring the UV light. Go freezing temperature and canvas drawing. I have never seen a ghost being caught in that ESG yet. Could that even be a thing? No, we can strike that. Could be a hand too. Okay, that's the only one we can be sure of. It's not a thing. Come on, I want to see that silhouette. That'll give us some extra XP and money. stuff going on up here. Are you here? Where are you? It's creepy as F. What is your name? Oh. I have no clue what you said. But I'm out of here. We are out of here. Before we die. Before we get haunted. Now we know what ghost it is. Just grinding the XP. And money. So we have spirit box. It's a hunt too. Let's use it. Yeps. Let's see what Hantu is, what kind of ghost that is. Hantus are known as ghosts that play with people's minds through their speech. If you somehow manage to talk to one, it will play with your sanity, making you more vulnerable. Talking to you makes you easier prey for it. If it curses you by talking to you, you can remove the curse 
the sanity pills. Okay. How do we know if it curses us? I don't know. Well, let's bring home the bacon. Yes, please. Were we right? We were right. 900 more dollars. And 30 experience points. I want to grind to <coughs> be able to go to that other location as well. We're gonna do one more hunt. Let's do one more, yeah? We're doing good. We're on a roll, man. Of course we're gonna do one more. Let's go. Flashlight. All the standard first stuff here. Secondary objectives. Perform ritual on the pentagram. Correct the crucifixes. Collect the salt bags. I never found any reverse crucifixes still. So the haunting spirit here is Alistair Olsen. Not Alistair Crowley. That would be awesome. And he sure would be a demon. You know? <laughs> if you don't know who Alistair Crowley is, Google it. Look it up. He liked black magic, stuff like that. Salt bags. I've never seen salt bags either. Are they so small that it's very difficult to see them? I don't know. Probably. Nothing is made easy in this game, I believe. I think. It looks like. Maybe I should have a look at other YouTubers playing it that are better than me. You know? <laughs> or that played it more than me. But I, I'd rather not watch other YouTubers' videos for games that I want to play, you know. I want to make my own impressions and learn it myself. Hopefully you guys appreciate that. Hello? I'm just looking down all the time just to be sure I see these salt bags if they're here or fingers for that matter because there should always be five fingers lying around I hate going into this room what is she gonna do this time? How's the baby crying this time? Oh. No salt bags? And who says the salt bags lie on the floor? I don't know if they do. I just suppose. They could be, you know, standing on cupboards and stuff like that. Maybe, I don't know. If you do know, please tell me. I just find it weird that I've never seen salt bags or anything. You know, or these fingers. I should have accidentally stumbled upon it sometimes, right? There's nothing going on in there. Any fingers lying around? Yes, no, maybe. No reverse crosses or crucifixes, no. Check the workshop. Hello? This would be an obvious place to find, you know, severed fingers. <laughs> A 
no. Never found them in here either. And no EMF wherever we... Oh, Jesus, don't do that. Wherever we've been. Are you upstairs again? Maybe in the basement? Let's go down to the basement first. Hello? Any salty bags in here? Or severed fingers? Or at least some EMF detection? Oh. Guess the ghost could be in here. <laughs> what? Did you just blow out? These candles? Have you experienced that before? Does that mean the spirit is down here? Or is that, you know, one of those things that just happened? I don't know. Oh, hello! <laughs> I think these are just, you know, static things that happens. Because we only get level 2 on the EMF. Okay, now we have level 3 around here. Should we guess the ghost is down here? <laughs> what the F, man? We have level 4 now. Pretty sure the ghost is down here now. Let's put the easel and get up and find some more equipment. Jesus, these are some creepy things going on in this house. God damn it. Where are these reverse crucifixes? Where the F are they? I have no clue. I haven't seen any salt bags either. It's annoying the shit out of me. Well, let's, let's bring the ESG. And the spirit box. And we are yet to see demon, demons, you know. But I think maybe there will be a higher level uh, locations. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. The EMF is still gone off at four. Have you drawn any pictures for me? No? What is your name? Where are you? Are you here? Am I alone? Okay, we have first evidence here. A spirit box response. But no easel. No ESG. Let's go get the UV lamp and the ectoplasma glass. Okay, got our first evidence. No salt bags, no fingers, and no reverse crucifixes. 
God damn it. Okay, let's get the ectoplasma gear. Uh, ect ectoplasma glass. Get some more evidence, hopefully. Before we get haunted and die. I didn't buy any crucifix, you know. We will save those for when we are going for secondary objectives as well. See if we find ectoplasma stains down here. No? Don't think there is. Check for handprints. It has been interacted with this door. But no level five. <laughs> what the f are you, man? Please draw something or go into the ESG. I'm not getting any other kind of evidence. No freezing temperature. No level 5 EMF. No ectoplasma stuff. Please step into the ESG. So what kind of more evidence are there? It has not been drawing. It has not stepped into the ESG yet. And I guess we are about to be haunted. Hmm. You step into the ESG. What's this? Oh, we have a drawing now. Okay, let's see if we can run something out. Rule something out. No, we cannot. I believe the last thing must be the ESG. Then it's an Eblis. Oh. Oh. Oh shit, we are getting haunted. I think. Are we getting haunted? Can I go out? Please? Please can I go out? Oh shit. Damn it! God damn hell shit fuck man. I'm pretty sure it must have been an Eblis, you know. Almost got that one. Damn it. That's how long it can take. Huh? We guessed the right correct ghost type. Okay, it was an Eblis then. Aha! So even if we guess the ghost and we die. We still get half the points and half the XP. I didn't know that. That's pretty awesome. That's a good thing to know. If you want to see more of this game and if you have any tips, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any good tips for me. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.